one, two, three, four, and five. This is going to be and button save and quit. And don't forget to change the text of the button. Delete. Open. Um, delete. Now it doesn't matter if they have the same text. So. All right, now we need to instantiate a model. Now, a J table has a model. It needs a model. And what, what a model is, it's going to handle the data that a table has. So it's the data handler. The model is the data handler. No, wait a minute. I think I said that wrong. Um, anyways, just know that... I really don't want to explain it, but just know that a J table needs a model. And a model is just something that just something a, 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 just a just something that a j table has um, hold on a moment I'm just going to Google and just look it up for you because I'm kinda curious too about uh, I know that it manipulates the data but hold on let me just make sure yeah I was right no I was right um, I, I I'm on this docs.oracle.com right now and I was right Every table uses table model object to manage the actual data. Now, the actual data is different from what you see uh, externally. And I'm going to show you what that means later on, but just know that let me show you right now. Uh, hold on. So this is your J table. And these are your external uh, these are these are gonna show your uh, what's inside <laughs> sorry this is your table and this is going to show your data that you stored in the table. Now the table model handles that data. But it's not pertinent right now. It's not necessary for you to know right now what I'm about to tell you, but whenever you're whenever you're uh, clicking some stuff here and changing some values in here, you're actually changing the value and whenever you do that the model is called the table model the ma the model of the table is called and handle ha handles those uh, events so when you change a value let's say change a value here the actual data is changed via the model anyways uh, I talk too much just know for now that a J table has a model and we're just going to create a default model. And we're going to call it model. Hold on a moment. Is that really... Uh, 
default table model sorry there you go import it and we're gonna need to uh, instantiate this model so model equals new default table model and it's gonna take in the data so book data and the columns so book column Now we're going to we're going to instantiate our book table. New J table. And this J table is going to take in the model. So it's saying okay. Okay, uh just create a new table. Oh, and by the way, while you're at it, Give this model this uh, give this model to this table and just make the model uh, make the table model of this table this model and we're going to be using this this default this model a lot to handle to handle changes in uh, in our application and you'll see what I mean later. For now, uh, okay. Now we need to set the uh, preferred scrollable viewport size, and what this is, and it just it just sets the preferred size of the viewport for this table. Basically, just sets the table size. This whole big name. All it does is set the table size and as you can see it takes in a dimension so new dimension dimension is just a width and a height I'm going to say 328 and 120 import dimension We're also going to set this to uh, fill the whole the whole area. The way we do that is set fills viewport height. True. And basically, even though uh, even though our table is empty, there's no data in our table right now this is the dimension that we passed in 328 by 120 now if this line if uh, this line wasn't here I'm gonna show you what happens this is what happens as you can see this table is not is not expanding it's not filling up the whole space that we gave it so that's why we want it so that's why we're setting the uh, we're setting this to true now initially initially our columns our column widths will be evenly divided but we actually want our title to be bigger and the author to be bigger than the price and serial number